Hello guys, EnemyCon here, and welcome to my first video of 2022. My first actual video. There was that Cuphead video I did. No, this is the first real video. So today, I'm going to be talking about Nintendo in 2022. So we know about a few games, and there's also speculation for like a major one that I'm going to talk about. But we'll get into that in a bit. So uh, let's just start out with Pokemon Legends Arceus. So, this game, I'm probably not going to get it. Um, okay, so the game looks like it's decent, like it might be a decent just like adventure game, but the graphics are a problem in my opinion. I know that how a game plays and how a game looks are two different things, but this is just fucking unacceptable. Pokemon is literally the largest multimedia franchise in the world. It has made over a hundred billion dollars. I'm, I'm not trying to harp on this game or the Pokemon Company or Game Freak, but I just think the Pokemon series has gone to shit. I really do. I just think Game Freak and the Pokemon Company have realized that they can just release whatever they want, no matter how bad it is, and the hardcore Pokemon fans are going to buy it. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. My friend bought a copy of Shining Pearl. He played the game, he made it to the Elite Four, and his game crashed. There is no reason that should happen. Pokemon is literally the largest multimedia franchise in the world. They have made over $100 billion with this franchise. They should be able to make a quality game that doesn't have a fucking mouse cursor in the credits, that doesn't crash, that doesn't have to release a week before Black Friday. They should just be able to release a decent game. And I think this game looks pretty good. Besides the graphics, the graphics look fucking awful, but I haven't played the game and I don't plan on getting it, so I'm not really going to say any more because I can't really give an honest review unless I've actually played the game. So I think I'll just leave it at that. So this is the only game I'm going to talk about that I might actually get because it does look fun. I like 3D platformers, never really been a Kirby fan. But I do respect the series. I do respect that it's one of Nintendo's, um, I don't know, kind of like B-tier series. Not really like up there with Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon. But it seems like a decent series. It's a platformer. I love platformers, you know. But, um, yeah, what can I say? Um, this game looks really cool and I might actually pick it up. It's got some new cool copy abilities. Got a new little helper character who might be the main antagonist. You never know. It looks like a fun game, and it's cool that Kirby's finally getting a proper 3D platformer. Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. Uh, probably not picking this one up. I've never really been a fan of tactical games, like Fire Emblem, you know? It doesn't look like a bad game. It looks pretty good for a GBA game remake. It'd be really cool if we could get a Mother 3 remake, get that US release, you know what I'm talking about? But yeah, I don't know why I keep saying but yeah, but but yeah, probably not picking this one up. Up next, we have another tactical game in the form of Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. I am definitely not getting this game. First of all, it's a tactical game. I don't care for those. Second of all, this series is an absolute fucking joke. The Mario plus Rabbids series is literally the dumbest thing I have ever seen. These games do not look like Mario games. They look like Rabbids games with Mario characters thrown in them to make them sell better. And this new game, it looks even fucking weirder. That Rabbit Luma thing, where did that thing come from? Deviant art. What I'm trying to get is that the animatronic suits. Oh, he's already in there. Damn it! I just made him go away. Hey! What the fuck is that? What am I supposed to do? What am I going? Okay, bye. <laughs> God damn it! You son of a bitch! So now we have Splatoon 3. I'm just gonna say it. I don't care for Splatoon. I've played the first game a couple times. It was meh. I don't know. I've just never really cared for the Splatoon series. I'm probably not going to get this game. I just, I don't care about Splatoon. What can I say? 
Another series that I just don't care for, Bayonetta. Never played a Bayonetta game. Uh, the only reason I know what Bayonetta is is because Bayonetta is in Smash. Um, there's nothing else I can really say. I'm not going to get Bayonetta 3. And that's that. Finally, we have Breath of the Wild 2, or as Nintendo likes to call it, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, I just want to start out by saying, if this game actually does come out this year, it will definitely be the holiday game and come out in December. There is no way this is going to be like a spring or summer release date like I hear a lot of people saying. If it was, they would have shown off a lot more of the game by now. So, yeah, there's that. But for me, actually getting the game, I'll think about it. I'll need to see more gameplay first, and if there's a February Direct, which I think there probably will be, I think we'll see more gameplay there. I did get Breath of the Wild back in November, and it's been a pretty fun experience. It's a fun open-world game, and yeah, hopefully Breath of the Wild 2 will have more like that. So now let's get into this big rumored game. Mario Kart 9. There's two things I want to talk about. First of all, do I think it's real? My answer, maybe. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is selling like crazy. Every quarter it sells over a million copies and it basically prints money for Nintendo. So I think the chances of a new Mario Kart are kind of in the middle. They might just want to keep riding the success of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but at the same time, maybe they want to make another game and just make even more profits. So I think we'll just have to see what happens as time goes on. If it is happening, it'll probably get announced at E3, would be my guess. The other thing I want to talk about with this rumored game are the arguments online for it being like a Nintendo Kart, having more Nintendo characters being added to the roster. In Mario Kart 8 with the DLC, we got um, Link, Isabelle, the villager from Animal Crossing, Rob was in Mario Kart DS, and in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I'm pretty sure they added the Inklings. So there have been Nintendo characters in Mario Kart before, but people are wanting a lot more, like almost like a Smash Bros style Mario Kart game called Nintendo Kart. My thoughts on this, I really don't want this. I would rather see more Mario characters than any Nintendo character. Give us characters like Geno, Fawful, King K. Rule, which I know that's a Donkey Kong character, but the Mario and Donkey Kong series are basically intertwined. It works. But like I said, I would rather see more Mario characters than more Nintendo characters. So that's all I've got for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any thoughts on what I said, leave them down in the comments below. And um, have a great day. Stay tuned because in two days, I will be uploading a vlog for my birthday, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.